नमस्ते एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल टुडे वी विल सी हाउ टू प्रोग्राम अ रेस्टियम बेस्ड चिप यूजिंग एस्टलिंग वी टू सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो टुडे व्हाट वी हैव विद अस इज एन एफ फोर जीरो सेवन बेस्ड डिस्कवरी किट एंड एफ फोर डबल वन बेस्ड ब्लैक पिल बोर्ड आई नो Black pill kind of sounds like a dark villain. I am Black Pill, ready to kill. Moving on, I'll be using a three v three power supply to power the discovery kit when programming using Stlink V two. I've accidentally burned diode D one on this board, responsible for five volt power supply, and I've also burned its shoulder pad. Yeah, I know. But regardless of this, I c- if I still power it using an external power supply, I can program this chip using the Stlink on board. But today, I'll program this chip using an external Stlink V2. So let's start with the black pill board. For that, we just need to connect SWD I/O, clock, and ground. So I'll be using STM32 Cube ID. As you can see, for this F4 double one chip, we have selected PA13 and PA14 for the SWD operation, and PC13 as a GPIO output for the onboard LED. System clock is set to 25 megahertz. Now we will see the schematic. As you can see, onboard LED is connected to PC13 pin. Here you can see the SWD pins. Also, you can have a look at the Type C, five volt, and the regulator that converts five volt to three v three. Now we will have a look at Stlink V two's pinout for STM thirty two program. As you can see. We have twenty pins available. Out of this, we only need three: SWD I/O, SWD clock, and one of the ground pins. After connecting the said three pins, we are ready to program our first chip F4 double one using our Stlink V2. You can find your STM32 Stlink based device. Under the device manager, next we will try to build and upload a very simple code, which toggles the LED after a specific delay. Now let's look at F four zero seven chip. Here also you can see PA thirteen and PA fourteen are used for SWD operation, while PD twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Are the onboard LEDs? Looking into the schematics under the SWD section, we can have a look at the GPIOs that are connected to SWD I/O and SWD clock. Also, I have removed the jumpers of CN3 connector so that Stlink on board is disconnected with the main F407 chip. And we can program it using an external Stlink V2. Herein, you can also have a look at the LED connected GPIOs, other main sensor, and also the main F407 chip pinout. Next, we will quickly connect 3v3 power supply. To the VDD pin of the discovery kit and the ground pin as well. Also, we'll connect SWD I/O clock and ground from the Stlink V2 pinout shared earlier. Lastly, we will build the code and upload it. This code is similar to the previous code, wherein all the LEDs are toggled after a specific delay.
so that's it from my side enjoy coding enjoy creating if you like the content make sure to like share and subscribe fir milenge